Hi YouTube! I know, not enough videos, blah, 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 blah. but today it's Saturday. I don't have work for some strange reason. I'm the only person in my house. Uh, this is a very, very rare opportunity that it's like the perfect chance for me to make a video and I have a good reason to. So woohoo, cheers to you. I'm gonna have me some delicious energy and chips. Oh, I hurt. I'm not too far. As you may or may not have noticed, I'm standing today because it turns out for some reason the sun is really bright today and uh, the lighting gets really bad if I don't block the window. So you may have also noticed that I have on my half broken Zelda necklace from my Zelda cosplay. If you have interest in seeing pictures of that. They don't really exist, but there's a few selfies on my Instagram, so I'll put a link down below. But today I'm actually not talking about Nintendo, I'm talking about uh, a new gaming device that I've gotten my grubby hands on. This little guy is called the GPD Win tablet. Please ignore the bad screen bubbles. In fact, I'll just take the screen protector off because I put it on so badly. Goodbye, screen protector. I'll get a new one. It's a nice tablet, it's a really fun tablet, and it's also a little tiny gaming laptop. PC. It was a good theme song. Now you know what it is. Now I don't have to do the review. So what this is, is literally just a teeny tiny Windows 10 PC in tablet form that comes with the setup of an Xbox controller. So built into the keyboard um, and a full keyboard. So basically it's a little tiny gaming PC. Hey, cute. I was provided this uh, free of charge to review from GearBest.com. So big thank you, GearBest.com. Um, I'll be putting the link for this product uh, down below on their website, as well as a coupon code that they gave me to share. So um, that brings the price down a bit. The price with the coupon code is actually only $300 even. So really cool, really good price. Um, but whether or not it's worth it to you, we'll see. So here we go. Review. Mwah. Okay, so now that I'm looking at my camera screen, I realize that the jig is up, but everyone can see that I'm still wearing my pajama pants midday on a weekend. So I just wanted to quickly show what actually comes with uh, your purchase. If you purchase a GPD, you get obviously the tablet itself, charging cables. It uses a standard USB C, type C, I don't know if you can tell, which is the same as the Nintendo Switch charger. Um, but I do find that for some reason, this charger seems to be way faster than every other USB type C I own, including the Switch cable. Um, so I wouldn't recommend stocking up on uh, USB type C's until you know exactly what's gonna work because this is actually the only cable that I found that works for the tablet, even though it is standard. And this cable actually does work on the Switch. I tested it out, so it must be that this one is faster. Allows more electricity just to travel through it at a quicker pace. And a, a wall charger, which I haven't used because I have my own wall chargers. You get a pair of earbuds. I don't know if you need earbuds, but if you do, you got them. It also does come with a legitimate copy of Windows 10, which I am not going to show you for obvious reasons, my code for, but uh, good to know that you're, you're on the up and up with your copy of Windows 10. And then to look at the actual PC slash tablet, I don't even really know what to call it. Please don't judge me for my desktop wallpaper at the moment. For a bit of a size comparison, uh, this is a 3DS XL. They're very similar in size. The GPD does have a ever so slightly bigger screen. They're actually so close in size that I have been using 3DS cases for my GPD to carry it around. So that's good. Oh, I forgot to mention the GPD actually does come with a screen protector. I am just so terrible at putting screen protectors on. I should have asked somebody to help me and I didn't. So I messed it up and that's why I ended up taking it off because I got Lots of little dust under it, no good. Here's a fun little tidbit for just anyone. Uh, you can actually just go get screen protectors that they have at the dollar store and just cut them to shape and you're good to go for pretty much any screen. Okay, so now you have a good idea of the size of this, this little guy. Uh, let's talk about the specs. Let's talk about specs, baby. So I am not a technically inclined person. 
like not even a little. So instead of talking about a bunch of things, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on screen right now the specifications that are listed directly from um, the sellers and you can make of it what you want. What I care about when I'm playing games on a PC is uh, how smoothly they play, how the frame rate is, um, what graphic setting that I can keep it on in order for it to play smoothly. The few little things that I can talk about are, I know there's four gigabytes of RAM in here. Um, four gigabytes of RAM is not a lot, but it's also not two gigabytes of RAM, so there's that. It means that you can definitely um, browse the internet, watch videos on the internet, etc. totally smoothly, no issues. Um, and you can play most older games totally smoothly as well. Newer games it has a little bit of difficulty with uh, if you have them on full settings and trying to run multiple games at once or trying to uh, do something like stream while gaming would probably be a bit too much for this. Not to say that you couldn't make it work, but it would probably just bog down and slow down the computer. So specs aside, if you have any questions about those, I'm probably not the person to ask, but I can try and answer. Um, Let's look a little bit into the features. So as you can see, apart from the full keyboard, these are all raised um, buttons. They're not like touchscreen or anything. They're all raised rubberized buttons. Basically an Xbox controller has been implemented into the keyboard um, and it works the exact way that an Xbox controller would. On the back, there's also shoulder buttons, two on each side. There's a number of ports on the back. There's a charging port, that's the USB Type-C. I believe this is mini HDMI. I haven't used it. I actually forgot that it was even there. Um, but that's there, with a little dust cover for it. There's a port for a micro SD card, which it doesn't come with a micro SD card. I have bought one myself that I got on sale. So this is a 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. The onboard memory is only about 40 gigabytes uh, after the OS installation and everything, um, which is not a lot. If you're only playing smaller games and you're only gonna have a couple at a time, 40 gigabytes is probably fine, but if you're like me and want to have a nice little selection of games downloaded, I upgraded to the 128 gigabyte for about $30, so that was fine with me. There's also a USB port, good for any accessories that you might want to uh, bring along with you. If you prefer having an actual mouse, you could do that. You could plug in and plug and go with a USB, um, or you could do something with a headset in here, or tablet, drawing tablet, you know, any number of of applications that you could think of for the USB port. Headphone jack, of course, because it would really suck if you had a nice portable system and no headphone jack. Also on the back is this fan control, and I'll see if I can get the sound to pick up on the microphone, but basically you can keep the fan off. Um, this is the medium range. Oops, I turned it up all the way. And that's the fastest one. The fastest one is a little bit noisy. Uh, I don't personally find it bothersome. The system does get kind of warm. Um, I find it extremely comparable, almost exactly the same heat-wise and fan-wise to the Switch. So if you actually have been playing the Switch and you know how hot it gets, this system gets to about the same temperature. At least that's what it feels like. In terms of actually using this as a computer, you basically have th four built-in options for mice. One is you could plug into the USB port. If you have the switch all the way to the left, this little switch controls your mouse controls. Um, you could just plug and go with a, a plug-in mouse. The middle option is what I mostly use. Basically, it allows you to move your cursor with the right analog stick and uh, right-click and left-click with just the left and right triggers. Um, and it took a tiny bit of getting used to, but now I can very intuitively use this. You can also actually use this entire screen as a touch screen. Um, in case I wasn't clear about it earlier, this actually is a touch screen tablet device on top of being a little tiny gaming PC. So you actually could um, open up things with the touch screen and you know, click around with that. I, I actually do use the touch screen for a very specific purpose, and I'll show you just a moment. 
The fourth mouse option is actually the Xbox control scheme. So you, you can set it up to be running a controller. But the problem with that is that a lot of programs, including Steam, get a little confused when you switch back and forth once you already have a game open. So I have found that I have to get the game ready to open, swap over to the Xbox mode, and then press the screen to get the game to play. And that seems to work 100% of the time for me. So without further ado, I'm going to open up a few games in my Steam library and you can see how they run. I was pretty impressed with this, so I'm hoping that you guys will be too. So here's a little Bioshock 2. I don't know exactly um, what it, this is going to look like on the camera, but the colors do look true to game on my screen. And uh, the sound is pretty good. And I have the speakers up. It gets pretty loud. I don't know if you'd have a reason for that, but <laughs> if you really wanted to annoy everyone around you, you could play with the volume up on full blast and it still sounds pretty good. So keep in mind this is low settings all around, but with the screen being as small as it is, I don't really think it's an issue personally. Oh, hello. So there's kind of a lot of stuff happening on screen right now. It's playing pretty smoothly. This is Overwatch, which is a pretty, pretty new game. Came out last year. Uh, and it has all of the settings on low. But I think you'll find, as I did, that it actually plays pretty smoothly, even with my bad internet connection, which is nice. The Wi-Fi does pick up really well on this thing. I'm playing sideways right now, so please don't, don't, uh, judge my terrible Overwatch playing. I hope my teammates don't hate me after I ruin this game for them. I'm getting all up in the battle, and as you can see, I'm not doing a lot right now, but no frame rate issues really, no freezing. I'm not doing well in the game, but perfectly smoothly. I was shocked when I played this and it, it was going well. Okay, well, that was bad. But I was fully expecting this to play terribly on this tablet because it's just so small. I couldn't imagine that this had enough power to play Overwatch nicely. And when it did, I was shocked. So this is good. I'm going to be bringing this so that I can get my win of the day. More days because I usually don't because I'm usually not home to get it. One thing that I do want to talk about being not great on this system is the battery life. The battery on this is 6,000 uh, mAh. If you're going to be playing games on this a lot, you don't have a lot of time, especially if you're playing a particularly intensive game like Overwatch or something else that uses a lot of Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So overall for me, this is fantastic. I have been using this every single day since I got it. I've only had it for a week. Um, I've, got, I've successfully played Bioshock 2, Assassin's Creed 2, Overwatch, uh, Braid, a bunch of older games. I was playing Sonic Adventure Battle 2 and ran into a couple of weird glitches, like the truck being attached to me, but I'm pretty sure that was Sega's fault and not the tablets. So the takeaway from all this is uh, it's a really good space in between a tablet and a gaming laptop. Um, I love it. I have been uh, having just a blast with it. And the price is also right for that. It's not like you're paying for a full gaming laptop and getting just a tiny subpar gaming laptop. You're paying basically for a tablet and getting something that's much more. So that's my review of the GPD Win provided by GearBest.com. Uh, I'll put my links down below. There's an affiliate link and there's also a coupon code. If you have any interest, then please take a look. Um, all of the specs are on that website. You could see more information about it. There's also a ton of reviews of these out there on YouTube of people who go more into the technical aspects, um, which I did not do because I am not technical. 
If you have any questions about the GPD win, uh, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. And until next time, love you. Mwah. <laughs>